No, All right. No, no. <laughs> We're off the Kendrick Lamar stuff. Uh, where we... Uh, is Roe versus Wade going to be too juicy right now? Maybe. Do we need an article for it? Or we can, can we just basically say that the Supreme I'm, I'm Court... I'm not uh, is adequately g- informed on this, honestly. They're just about to re- overturn, yeah. overturn the abortion yeah. rights. Basically, they're going to make it so that it's up to each state to decide whether or not the abortion laws will stay... Or, or, Decide their own abortion laws, right? So yeah, now it's yeah. not it's not a constitutional right for you to be able to have an abortion. So now, if you look at the chart, there's a bunch of states that already have rules against it's abortion. Like so now they're going to be able to just enforce their own rules and oppose women being able to get abortions. So a lot of outrage, yeah. rightfully so. There was another thing um, that it, it's not it's not official or anything. It was somebody that leaked a draft of all the people or the the Supreme Court. Uh, is it judges? Yes, judges. Yeah, leaked a document of all of them kind of leaning towards overturning it. Mm. And if this does happen, yes, like m- more than half of the country is okay with it. Like, the, I mean, more than half of the country will uh, relinquish that right, um, which is pretty scary, man. I think I think that's kind of fucked up, especially like I don't think we should be able to tell people what they do with their bodies, yeah, especially crazy. like if you can't provide for the child if you can't even if especially if you're fucking broke like it yeah. how, what you you're gonna bring somebody into this world is it like okay let me ask you guys this if you don't have enough money or you don't make a certain amount of money and you're bringing a child into the world is it considered child abuse if you can't take care of the kid uh i wouldn't consider it child abuse so if it's like blatant, if I blatantly can't take care of the kid, I'm living in my car. Like me and my girl are both yeah. living in a car. Yeah, that that would be That's a child, child abuse. Or at least CPS <laughs> is gonna eventually take your kid away. So for for child abuse because they're in bad conditions. So either yeah. way, it's kind of fucked, you know. It yeah. wouldn't be child abuse though. They take it away yeah. because of the conditions. Yeah. But I, I st- if we're talking like definition, I couldn't call it child abuse. Yeah, because you're not really abusing them. They're just growing up pretty uncomfortably. Yeah. yeah. But about the abortion topic, uh, yeah, it, you, it's it's huh? You you guys hear about some of the stories? Of um like what's going on with some some women that have tried to get an abortion or they're trying to do uh an at home abortion, uh and they started fucking up so they go to the hospital, and uh, I forgot her name is something Pula. At home abortion is crazy. Yeah, yeah. She, because she's she was in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is one of those states that is not living in Oklahoma with is super crazy. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and uh yeah, so she was Shit. she was trying to do it. She goes to the hospital and tells them. Uh, what's going on? Doctors called the cops on her. Oh shit! And now she's facing four years in prison, uh, because of manslaughter. Because she, damn, bro, that's such a scary thing for people to go through. Like, are you, it's that sh- that just blew my fucking mind. Yeah, cause... bro, if you're gonna be all up in people's business about like what they're doing with the kid, you better also be there to raise funds to help support all these kids that are gonna be had. Like, if you're at the point where you're trying to com- do your own abortion, bro, like. Mm. You really have no other options. And then where are all the people that are like, no, the kid needs, the baby needs to be born. Y'all better help take care of him after that because there's, for, you know how bad foster care is too? Like yeah. that shit is horrible because people are getting paid to foster the kids. And so you hear all these abuse kids because so many weirdos are going, it's easier to get a foster kid than it is to get a dog. You know, it's very hard to adopt a dog. From yeah, different places, like they ask you, that. "What's your schedule like? What's going on? What's your temperament?" Like they want to know, and they'll dead ass be like, "Nah, we don't think you're gonna be a good fit for the dog. You, your work schedule doesn't work." Is that well. only at nice places, or like even the ghetto places too? For dogs, yeah. No, you could probably go to like ghetto ass places, but like people that want like puppies, oh. puppy dogs and stuff. Yeah, those yeah. certain certain foundations it depends. But the point is like, it, you, people are you're fighting so hard to to force women or to, to take away their right to an abortion. But you, after that, you just don't care what happens. What about women that are raped? Everyone talks about that. Yeah. What do y'all think? Is is the uh, is the baby alive when it's in the belly? Like, so what, at what point do you consider the baby to have life? Uh, some some places are saying like uh, fifteen weeks. That's a what long do you think? Time. Oh yeah, I mean, what do you? Wait. What do y'all think? Like, Come yeah, on, no, give me y'all like after after the time frame where she's like. Okay, I think it's like what a two week incubation period. Mm-hmm. Like after that time frame, I think it's it's too late. You know, for, at least for me, after personally. two weeks or two weeks. God damn. Ooh, what does incubation mean? Like okay, I think like right when the belly start getting big. Like if I could see that motherfucker, yeah, it's too late. Like for me, it's too late. And then I don't know the time frame from like the fetus. I, that's what I'm saying. Like it, I feel like the abortion topic is all perspective yeah. about how you feel about life and and your interpretation of, of what how much life money you send into Africa. 
I'm not sending shit to Africa. I'm talking about them people, not oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying like, bro, you are so... <laughs> they, them people are so aware that people are dying every single day all over the place. Yeah. In Chicago, how many bodies are piling up every single day? And I, like, there's so many... Every People are dying nonstop, but y'all worried about a baby that you don't even... Like, bro, yeah. what were you thinking when you were in the womb? I don't give... Like, I don't even care what, what time, what point is life, what point is this, what point is that. Bro, what are y'all... T- y'all should be concerned about some adults and like 16-year-olds right. that are getting killed on the street every day. Y'all are worried about a baby that's inside of a woman growing in her like fam it's a seed that's still inside of her yeah. like what are we talking about i i get once it's past a certain point it is fucked up like if you're at like eight months pregnant yeah but, yeah, fam, yeah that's crazy you need to focus on lives that could really be saved that are getting killed every single day but no instead we're like no 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 Our, my religion tells me that it's not right so i must inflict and force that on you yeah fam, shut up with all that shit I, that shit is lame i don't agree with the fact that now it'll be constitutional or I guess the lawing. They're going to take away gay marriage next. Yeah, mm. probably. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a fuck, slippery slope what we do. <laughs> I, I just think that they should have safe places for abortions because shit happens. Like, that, mm-hmm. that's what I'll say. Especially when it comes to something like life. Like, shit happens. And if you know that you're not adequate, like you said, that's that would be child abuse bringing a child in if you know you can't take care of it. Yeah. Or if you know you don't have the, the finances, you don't have this, the foundation to take care of a, a whole other human being. You might be raising start a, a podcast. killer. Like, it's... <laughs> Nine months to start like, a podcast. Might... <laughs> yeah, shit. Who knows? But, yeah, I, I feel like you should have a safe space to do that and then like you said the rape situation like i've always had that example in my head because it's that's that's crazy because as a mother you, you have to bond with your kid and i could see it being easier for you to not want to bond with your kid having it be a baby that you had out of rape you know yeah. like you probably wouldn't have that great of a connection with or you, you might you might be it's still like oh, i still my seed whatever yeah. i love him or yeah, it's like, I, fuck, you're or it's like I fucking hate you because yeah. i know where you came from yeah. like and i feel like there should be a safe space to prevent that all right now what do you say to the person that says well y'all could be taking birth control and contraceptives and shit like that so you shouldn't have gotten pregnant in the first place and people do get burnt like still have births after using condoms or still using birth control and if they still want to have that decision to say hey i'm still not ready for a kid i didn't want a kid in the first place what if because someone we used- said they're 99 percent accurate or effective uh birth control like the the per- what do you mean someone said like the 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 girl Birth control, ninety nine percent, and as far as terminating, and, and then she, okay, okay. and then she still has a, a baby after. No, I'm saying that it does. Usually, when people have babies while on birth control, they miss some days because birth control oh, yeah, is yeah, highly yeah. effective. Yeah. So, what do you say to that person? That's. I still, I still think like when it comes to the abortion, like you should still have the right, even even if even if someone fucked up and was like, oh damn. Yeah, it's ninety nine percent active, and I might have missed some days. Like you should. So they're it's, saying it's ninety nine percent active. So why are you getting an abortion? No, because I was saying, what do you say to the person that says, "Oh, well, you should be on birth control." Yeah. So you wouldn't have gotten pregnant had you just been on birth control. Mm-hmm. And then if you say, "Oh, well, what if I got pregnant while on birth control?" and they mm-hmm. say, "Not likely," because you must have not, you must have been irresponsible and not taking it mm. because it's well, very active. At that, that point, that I say, "Fuck you!" <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean, not likely? Get out of my schedule. You're not on my fucking calendar. You yeah. know, like you yeah. gonna tell me I'm negligent for missing a few days? Like, hey, I'm I'm on birth control. It's ninety nine percent. I had a baby. I don't want the baby. Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> like. But, the, but when you look at the numbers, it's high. It's much more people that are much more afflicted by this are minorities and people of lower income status mm. and not everyone that is in the especially in a dangerous ass neighborhood. How much like when I've gone with someone to get their birth control, we drove pretty far and it's free birth control through like insurance or whatever. But we had to drive pretty far. It was a stretch mm. like it was definitely more than a 20 mile drive to where we went to. And I forgot, we're just looking for a specific place. But the point is, so many people in these neighborhoods are not going to be thinking, oh, yeah, t- on Tuesday, I'm going to go down to, to uh, what's, what's it called? Planned Parenthood Planned Parenthood. and go get this to, to happen. People aren't going to do that, bro. It's just not on the first thing on people's minds. They might not even have access to a car. They have to take, what, two buses to get down there. Mm-hmm. They're in dangerous conditions. Now they're going to get back late. Like, it's just not fair to... To put those things, well, you could have done that. You could have done that. Why don't we just keep everyone's rights? And then yeah, they have yeah, all exactly. these options to do different things. Exactly. If you want to take birth control, want to not do that. If you get raped, if you miss a day and something happens, why don't we just all have our, our same rights that we've had and not get them taken away? And all those judges, when they swore the oath, basically said that they are going to uphold precedent of all the previous judges. And these are all the, the judges that are signing off are all the ones that Trump elected. They're all the Republican mm-hmm. motherfuckers who swore they were going to uphold previous precedent, which means you're going to go by what the previous Supreme Court judges have said before you. The letter that they wrote was mad disrespectful. Like, no one talks about other judges like that. Even if you're, um, what's it called when you when you change in something? Like, veto? Nah, nah, no, no. When you like, say, like, you, you not ratify it. You, I, mean, I guess, amend something. 
Basically, if you're making a change to something previously stated, you do it about it in a go about it in a respectful way because you're still talking about the same court that you're upholding. Mm-hmm. They were like, nah, we never agreed with that shit. They basically just went and trashed the shit. Like, nah, they were tweaking before. Mm-hmm. Just how we rocking now in the thing that got leaked. You would mm-hmm. think that for like people with like daughters would might that might have a different perspective on it. You know, four out of the five judges, they all got daughters. It's like you guys are overturning something that's going to affect your kids in the future, that which blows my mind as well. See, Just but like, it might not affect them because in their perspective, they're like, they wouldn't gonna, let their kid have an abortion anyways. Exactly. Mm. They wouldn't let their kid have an abortion anyways. And they were like, oh, my daughter, my Sarah <laughs> is going to meet a, a nice, lovely guy. And, you know. But what if and, Jamal dicked it down? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wonder down. if they'll flip it then. Exactly. Gonna, so, like, <laughs> you know you're getting that abortion, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to have baby. that baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That's, hey, they got to California. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. No, yeah, they got to so, present that idea. What, yeah. thug, thug had a take? Yeah, Thug had a take about, um, what's it called? All right, so Young Thug had a, had a take on this one. God, I need to set some rules. 